This state championship wrap is presented by the Shiner All Sports Booster Club, supporting all Comanche athletic programs. So proud of this group and just all of all of us seniors and everything. We we work our ass off every every day and just try to come out here and do our best. And sometimes we come up short. It's a great community, great team, great everything. I mean, everyone fights with all they can, and uh, it was. Just unfortunate day today. That's baseball. You know, sometimes the ball bounces your way, sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, said we hit a lot of balls right to them and they made the plays, so credit to their defense. Uh, their pitcher did a good job, you know, of uh, keeping the ball off the plate. And, uh, you know, I said it's one of those things that, you know, everything went in their favor today and we just came up short. Hey, folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie 1982 It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much, and enjoy the show. 2A Baseball State Championship game, Shiner taking on Harrelton. The Comanches looking for their fifth baseball state title. They lost in the state final last year, which was their only loss the entire season. The Comanches had no trouble in the state semifinals, run ruling new home 11 nothing behind Ryan Peterson. Harrelton had a completely different semifinal, needing a seventh inning rally to beat Collinsville 4-3. They trailed by three runs going their last at bat and came back to win. Who would win the last 2A state championship of the year? Let's take you to the field and check out the action from here in Round Rock. Before we look at the final, let's take a look back at the semifinal versus New Home. Video highlights provided by our great friend Jeremiah Sosa at the Victoria Advocate. Ryan Peterson pitched nearly perfect, allowing two walks and only one hit. Kale Shows had three RBIs, Caden Booth two, in an 11-0 run rule win to advance Shiner back to the final. We came out hitting really well. We did a great job, and uh, my pitch good, and uh, it, was, it was a good day. In the final, they faced 36-1 Harleton, who, as mentioned earlier, needed a seventh-inning rally to beat Collinsville and reach the baseball final for the second time. Unfortunately for the Comanches, one bad inning in the second gave the Wildcats a huge lead. They played one hell of a game. I mean, it's hard when they throw their bat out there and they put it where we're not. It's just not much we can do about it. A 99-minute weather delay in the third gave Shiner a chance to breathe and make adjustments, and they finally got going on offense.
We just kept fighting at all times. I mean, we came out there and put out our best effort, and that's all I can ask out of these guys. Three runs coming out of the delay cut the deficit to 6-3 and gave them hope of coming all the way back. But a drop foul ball in the fourth kept Harleton at bat. They regained momentum, scored a run, and pulled away from the Comanches. One of those games of momentum, you know, we thought we had a little bit going our way, but you know, they got a run right back to give them the momentum again, and we just couldn't get it in our favor and keep it there. You know, I said our kids battled, we gave ourselves chances. Uh, they were just tough outs today. That, that team put the ball in play and got some big hits and, uh, you know, scored early on us, and then we fought our way back, but it was just not enough. Shiner rallied in the seventh inning with two runs, but it was too late as Haroldton won their first baseball title 10-5 the final. Keenan Haley had two hits and two RBIs. For Shiner, Carson Shute added three RBIs for the Comanches. The Shiner seniors leave with lots of medals. They have two silvers in baseball and two golds in football. So proud of this group and just all of all of us seniors and everything. We we work our ass off every every day and just try to come out here and do our best. And sometimes we come up short. It's a great community, great team, great everything. I mean, everyone fights with all they can, and uh, it was just an unfortunate day today their work ethic and their character you know it means a lot to them uh, you know it means a lot to our community and you know they the expectations are always there in Shiner and it, you know something for us to be proud of we're lucky that we've had a group of kids that really buy into the hard work that goes into putting uh, to get here and you know lucky to be their coach reporting from the mouse pad in Round Rock I am Mr. Bowtie